Drawings and Found Objects Pio Abad London-based Filipino artist Pio Abad is more known for his silk scarves. The scarves are based on his drawings, and now he has returned to showing the drawings themselves made of ink and gouache on heritage wood-free paper. He mines auction catalogs of estates of world leaders and dictators. This diptych is the front and back of a Chinese vase with the dragon and phoenix motif from the Margaret Thatcher collection. We also have a scarf featuring a new drawing session of H.R. Ocampo, our national artist, and drawn by Pio. Pio has made about 50 scarves to date, but has stopped making them for now. Norberto Roldan. Norberto Roldan, or Piwi as we all know him, is one of our most senior artists and the founder of the artist-run space Green Papaya Art Projects. These are assemblages by Piwi in his signature Baroque frames, vintage wallpaper, and cigar boxes, filled with perfume bottles, pill boxes, Buddhas, photographs, all mementos of imagined lives. The practice making stories of found objects a very important way of art making in the region. This series is called The Beginning of History. Next section, surface tension. Bernardo Paking. Paking, one of the most important abstract artists of his generation, shows three bright paintings in yellow, blue, and white tones. Made for Art Fair Philippines 2021, this series is called Poles Apart. There are three pieces in the series. To see them all, please visit our website at silverlensgalleries.com. Next artist, Gary Ross Pastrana. Not named after the movie Glen Gary, Glen Ross, this very important internationally but still underrated nationally artist is well known amongst global curators, having exhibited from Hong Kong to New York and many other world cities. Gary Ross Pastrana is mentor to many young conceptual artists and his work is all about transforming objects. What you are looking at is a collage of thousands of cut pieces of paper, all from auction catalogs. Nicole Cosson, the youngest artist on our roster, Nicole is London-based, where she has just recently been chosen as one of the Bloomberg Young Contemporary Artists with an exhibition at the South London Gallery. She has also just opened her first solo show at the Ben Hunter Gallery in the same city. The show has sold out. These are monotypes using a large press to transfer the image onto the canvas. She works with the ideas of camouflage and barriers. These pieces are continuation of her show Exoskeleton, which we hosted here at Silverlands in February. Next section, Water Warriors. James Clar. James Clar is one of our diaspora artists who divides his time between Brooklyn and recently Manila. James works with technology. He develops his own light systems to create visual sculptural works that combine light and technology. This piece is called Rain Under Lamppost. Martha Atienza. Martha Atienza, based out of Bantay and north of Cebu, is becoming a rock star in the art world. Her videos and installations have been collected by very important global collectors and institutions. She works with her community collaboratively, addressing issues such as environmental change, displacement, cultural loss, governance, and socio-economic disparities. This work is called Tarong. It is a single channel, 44 minute long video, and it follows the rising tide through the movements of a teenage boy from Bantayan. He struggles to swim in place as the tide comes in. The challenge of man versus nature becoming man working with nature. Next section, Painters, Painters. Luis Santos. Luis Santos is the grandson of Malang and the son of Soler. He went to school for a non-art course but could not escape the pull of becoming an artist. He is a painter who plays with different mediums here we have paintings and silk screen of jungle images in layers of overlaid canvas. Next artist, Leslie de Chavez. Here we have three of my favorite painters coming up. Leslie de Chavez is the first. He will be having a solo show opening here on the 13th of May of sculpture, installation, and painting. If there must be a Filipino painter, he is the one. This very poetic piece is a graphite and paper canvas of a bird. 
The lower portion is copper with hammered text and wire and angel figurines. The text is a biblical story of how God sent a crow and a dove out after the great flood to find life. Next artist, Patricia Eustachio. When Patricia Eustachio paints, she reminds us why she is a magna cum laude for painting from the UP College of Fine Arts. We call her a magician because no matter what medium she works in, leather, ceramic, tapestry, oil, her signature themes of appearance and vanity of objects shines through. This is what contemporary artists do. They are not reliant on single mediums, but are able to make pieces that are visually cohesive regardless of what materials they use. She had to stop painting for five years due to carpal tunnel syndrome. But those five years saw her most creative with tapestries and soft sculptures. Now she is back with two new paintings, Flowers for One and Two. Next artist, Jonathan Ching. Jonathan Ching is a painter, self-taught. Trained as a civil engineer, he also could not escape being the pull of a creative. Magaling ang kamay ni Jonathan. I'm so happy that he has made this first large piece of a single canvas, a lush painting of a chrysanthemum that looks very abstract up close and takes form once you move away from it. Next section, hands at work. Eric Zamuko is one of our most gifted sculptors. He is the winner of the very first Ateneo Art Awards in 2000 and left soon after that to do his master's in sculpture in the U.S. He uses a mix of materials, metal, wood, acrylic, and overlays photograph tra transfers and paint onto the assemblages. The intention in transforming the ordinary is to pull the immaterial and possibly find knowledge for some kind of human order. Next section, color blasts. Pao Martinez makes irreverent, brash, fun, funny paintings. Satirical but at the same time obvious, tongue-in-cheek, his cast of characters have been growing over the years. For this year's Art Fair Philippines, he presents three guys, an aging Sherpa, an anonymous portrait, and a guy in a cabin. Using the internet as his source of ideas for imagery, he hones in on the mood of the moment, the signs of the times, and the absurdity of representation. Next section, Women in Color. Kitty Taniguchi is an anchor artist in the Visayas. She has been making terracotta sculptures, drawings, and paintings from her studio in Dumaguete for years. She is the source code of artist Maria Taniguchi, her daughter. This piece is entitled Of Being and Nothingness, and is the introduction to a solo show of the artist that we are opening on May 13th together with Leslie De Chavez's show.